So you want to learn how to create that image reveal effect using Webflow interaction triggers without code? What the fuck? What's up YouTube? My name is Marvin Aziz. I'm a freelance developer and yesterday I created that image reveal effect using Webflow interaction triggers. Today I thought let's share it with the Webflow creator community on YouTube. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. There are basically two ways in order to um, create such an image reveal effect, at least two of the ways I can think of right now. The first one would be to um, create a div wrapper, um, use a background image, put that div wrapper to a height of 0%. And as you scroll into view, it grows into 100%. The second one would be to actually have the image visible in the background, use a second layer on top of the image, right? The image is right there all the time. The overlay reveals it like a curtain. I've got a really basic um, layout going on here. So there's a grid wrapper, basically two columns. In the first column, there's a div, and within that div is an image, right? On the right side, there's just a bit of text. Actually, there's a nice button animation. But other than that, that's, that's pretty much it, right? Left side wrapper, right side content, left side wrapper, right side content. What I'd like to do is actually grab that wrapper down here and make sure that this wrapper is positioned relative. Why relative? Because if I want to place in div within that wrapper and position it absolute, so on top of everything else, the parent wrapper has to be um, put to relative. Okay, so that's the kind of hierarchy we have right here. So um, the left wrapper is put to relative. I'm gonna press Command E to put in a div and I'm going to call that overlay wrapper. And I want it to be actually positioned absolute, just like mentioned. And I wanted to um, fill up the full width and height of the parent wrapper, right? So you can tell now it wraps around the whole image and you can even better see it if I put it onto that dark blue. I am going to copy and paste that wrapper into all those um, left wrappers. Right, so you can't see the images anymore. And now I'm going to click on that left wrapper, press H or that little icon on the top right corner and create a new element trigger. And I want it to be scrolled into view. I'm gonna start an animation and create one from scratch. Um, so this is gonna be called overlay reveal. And I am going to actually select that overlay wrapper, add a new action and um, change the size. So I wanted to start with a height of 100%. I'm gonna duplicate that one. And I wanted to end with a height of 0%, right? So it's revealed already. Let's play that. Yeah, okay, it's revealing as you can tell. I wanna set that first one as an initial state and the second one, I want to have a nice easing. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the ease in, ease out cubic one. Give it a little twist right here and see how that's looking. Yeah, not too bad, maybe a bit more. Okay, let's keep it like that for now. For the scroll out of view, I'm gonna start a, another animation. And for this one, I'm simply going to copy and paste that first one. Actually, I'm going to duplicate this one, rename it so that I know what I'm working on. Scroll out. And this time I'm gonna remove that first action. And for the second action, I'm gonna change the height to 100%, right? I'm gonna change the duration to 0.2 seconds and that should give me a nice, a nice reveal effect. I'm gonna add a little offset so that the image is only revealed as soon as I see 30% of that parent wrapper. And now I'm simply going to check if that actually works. So the first one is working fine. The second one is not working. The third one is not working. Why is that? You might ask. So let's jump in back into the animation panel in the interaction panel. And we can see that I selected the element for the trigger settings right down there. But what we want to do is select that class. So 
this interaction is going to apply on all those 09 left wrapper classes we have on that page, right? So we actually have three of them and I want all three of them to be animated. All right, let's see. Good, good, yes. Okay. The second method is also really nice. Um, for that one, I'm actually going to remove that overlay wrapper and that image too. I'm gonna delete that interaction we just created for now. There we go, delete the interaction. Okay, so we are left with a left wrapper, which is not filling up the full size of that um, grid layout we created. So I wanna give it a 100% width and 100% height to start with. And I'm gonna insert a background image down there at the background panel and it's gonna be the same image. It's not gonna be within a tile, it's not gonna be repeated and I want it to position it in the middle, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing for all of those other left side wrappers, okay? All right, so now that we have those images in the background without an extra wrapper, I'm gonna select that left wrapper right here and press H, create a new element trigger, scroll into view, create a new action, start an animation and let's create one from scratch. So I'm gonna call that background reveal and the first action is going to be a size, right? So I want the size to start at zero pixels. pixels. Let's duplicate that one and change it to 600 pixels. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Um, I'm gonna give it a custom easing. This time I'm gonna go for the ease in out quad. Give it a little upward heel down here. Let's see. Yeah, not too bad. And I wanna give the scrolled into view animation a little offset so it doesn't start directly as I scroll into the view of that parent wrapper. I'm gonna give it a 30% or 31% offset. And for the scroll out, I'm gonna start a new animation and simply duplicate that one. Just like the last time, rename it. Scroll out, remove the first action. The second action is going to be a height of zero pixels. Save that. Change the trigger settings to um, trigger on the class, right? Size, oh yeah, it's supposed to be the initial state. Let's see if that, this also um, already is helping. Nice. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to um, watch all those new and upcoming videos on all things Webflow. I'm really excited. See you in the next one.